uh, here we are, ladies and gents. We've got a best of five here in the third round of Titans League Silver. Winner here moves on to face Stark, a player who's been there, done that. He's been in gold before. That's the goal for both of these two. Uh, Clement, who's on the right side here playing as the Khmer, he also was in gold and was relegated out. So he's looking to get back. And then we have an Argentinian on the left in Deeker. Um, these guys are pretty close together by Acropolis standards, Dave. Mm -hmm. uh, it could it's make been generating like this, man. It's been generating like this a lot, where the tips of their Acropolises or Acropoli Acropoli? Acropoli Acropolis, Acropolis, Acropolis Acropo are touching. Yep, yeah. it's, it's one of those. It is a Greek. It's a Greek word, so it's probably Acropoli. That's good. Yes, I'll yeah. wait till I'll wait till Ducks comes over here and corrects us. <laughs> he doesn't know. So Magyars, cheap scouts, uh, you get the forging upgrade for free in feudal and then iron casting in castle. And then blast furnace and imp. So it's all about early feudal for them um, and massing those scouts here, you would, one would assume. But the Khmer yeah. economy is really strong. When you are really able to expand with farms and when other civilizations are dropping off their food at their mills and their TCs and your food count spiking, that's when you feel good. Um, could definitely see... Either player's woodline getting completely brutalized in early feudal, though, if they don't realize what's going on here. Because mm -hmm. they are close. Yeah, and there's, like, really not another wood option here for Clement to mm -hmm. go to. It's really far away, right? He does have the wood uh, on his uh, plateau here, but, I mean, the stuff to the left is pretty close to your enemy base. Yep. And the stuff on the right, there's not too much there. Might be a concern for him. Also, I want to see a barracks. From the Khmer? If he's if he's gonna be playing scouts, I want to see a barracks. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah, would you I, it's just it's it's happened so many times where you're up at scout v scout against another scout civilization and they have the spears and you and you die. Because mm -hmm. you don't have spears. Yeah. Some players will add the barracks later too, but I think you just have to open with it and plan for it. But yeah. if I had to guess, I would say Clement. He, he's a real confidence player here, and I think he's going to want to just focus on those scout numbers. I mean, maybe. But I will maybe say this is scouts. a positive for both. I mean, obviously, the wood line that Deeker's on right now is much bigger, but uh, if players need to expand. Deeker could expand to the north quite easily where there's gold wood, and then you have that option for Clement as well if he scouts it. Like That'd be a great area for town centers later on, mm -hmm. uh, as opposed to trying to TC anywhere near the south. I mean... It's kind of funny. We have uh, what should be two separate three-tile stones touching each other there. They're just linked up. Um, there's a lot of res down there, but that's just still so awkward to expand. Hard to build things there. It's just yeah. an easy target. <laughs> I just gave Ice Cream Carp launch to do whatever he wants in my chat. I'm worried now. <laughs> <laughs> Mistake's been made. Okay, so yeah. I, I couldn't Everyone see the full I... copy-paste. But apparently the plural of Acropolis is Acropolises, which is so much more boring. Yeah. Okay, that's way more boring than Acropoli. Yeah. I, I heard Acropolodes. <laughs> Acropolodes. <laughs> well, I that think, didn't seem right. I think we should just, I think if enough people are with us and we say Acropoli, that we yeah. could just redefine it. In 10 years, mm -hmm. we go back to that same Wikipedia page and it's going to be changed. So yeah. we'll stick with Acropoli. Uh, Deeker... About to click up here at 19 pop after Loom, and we've got 17 pop for Clamol. So uh, he will definitely just be going for the stable here, Dave. But if he gets the scouts out the scouts out ahead of the Magyars, he might mm -hmm. not need the Spearman at home. So Deeker has found the wood line from, uh, from Clamol. Mm -hmm. He knows where it is. He saw the villagers heading there, and that house is not random. Clamol also finding the mill, but he has not spotted the wood line. So that is the difference. He is up 50 seconds faster, though. Yeah. Which is a pretty big deal. And if he gets the stable up right away, then that would be a scout advantage. And the best of the best, which these guys are, are aiming to get up close to that, if they get promoted to gold, they're able to maintain those advantages. And that's why you're probably not going to see either of these players trying to, to fight with that starting scout. They, they know that there's value in that HP. Mm -hmm. There could be temptation here, right, when you hit Feudal to try and engage somewhere if you're Clamal, but I think you just need to find the guy's woodline. And once you find his woodline, you can build towards that later on. Find the wood. Look for the wood. Oh, he finds a wood? It's not there. Nope, not that wood. But he'll He's find it eventually. Back. 
So, Stable's going up. Love the timing on this. I will probably struggle with this, not to, uh, with getting horse color and whatnot. So, I doubt we're going to see that mm -hmm. upgrade. But it seems to be fine these days. Players prefer to be up faster and have the farms uh, last a little bit longer. Oh, no. The wood villagers are smoking again for me. I just realized. Not smoking for me. I had the, I had them, um, on, I don't, I don't know what they're called. I had them glowing yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they were glowing but, earlier today, and now they're not glowing anymore, and now they're no longer smoking. Nope, they're still smoking. They're still smoking? Okay. Very strange. That's really bad Just for them. They should strange. really stop. Yeah. Fazima, stop the... Cut the vape, you know? Scout looking around for Clement here, and he still hasn't located the wood line of the enemy. Now, again, Magyar scouts are going to have more attack, so some good hits there from Deeker, but he backs away knowing another scout will show up, and now... Clement sees that wood line. So it took him some time, but he knows about it. Both players have mm -hmm. gone with palisade walls around their lumber camp. And forward spear from Deeker is not going to really be able to accomplish much uh, because uh, the walls are up right now for Clement. So that's good stuff. And there's three scouts. So now you could go kill villagers. The problem comes when there's more than one spear for Deeker and he starts to come forward from maybe a tower. Yeah. And then suddenly you can't engage. Yep. Yep. If you're Clement, right? And you have to go for a defensive tower of your own. We'll see if Deeker tries to go for an approach like that. Right now, he's kind of having problems keeping the scouts coming out and mass experiment at the same time, mm -hmm. as well as he probably wants to get his farm upgrade. But later on in Feudal Age, you can run into problems for sure with Khmer. Yeah, this is really, really clean from uh, Clement. And Deeker, I'm seeing first game of the series vibes and the nerves. Sheep. Oh, yeah. Like, he got he got housed once. He's getting town watch now because he knew he was going to get housed again. He's still fine, don't get me wrong, but these are the things that you just you know kind of run into as a player. And I think Deeker, having seen the scouts the going tower. to the north, I think he's coming for the yep. tower, Dave. Yeah. Yep. And he's going to force this down, and it's going to require a defensive tower from Clement or run away yeah because you're definitely you're not doing anything against this there's three spearmen there they have foraging so you can't even rush out with your villagers as long as deeker keeps these scouts alive uh he's gonna be fine if he takes a really bad engagement against the tc that's the only way that <laughs> that clement can probably um counter this can that villager get into the house yes it can yes, two it houses can. plays perfectly with the Khmer. Now, a moment ago, Clement was looking on the backside of that wood line. He's not now. He can't see it. But he might suspect that something's up. I like how no, Deke is trying to take him away from it. That's such a good tower. Yeah. It's back. It's back on the plateau for Clement soon. He he doesn't have enough wood to drop another lumber camp either. Like, he's going to yeah, have to wait for that. And this is just tragic. And this is what you get for playing Khmer and not making a barracks. Now, also, big credit for Deeker, though, for getting the tower up. He needs the garrison inside of the tower shoot the vills the vills can't run you need to garrison inside that tower dude don't give clement counter, an opportunity tower to just counter okay. tower here spearmen are working away on that wall scouts are hitting downhill they have forging that's one dead villager i think from no clement. no he garrisons it in the tower his tower is only at 60 percent right now yeah no, true. he's he's almost in he's in this is this is a quick disaster. wall from clement no. disaster it's disaster a disaster. Averted? Oh, get into the God, house. Get into the house. Disaster. Wow. Great opening here for Deeker. Now, I, I, it's kind of hard to know what to do right now because you don't have a lumber camp if you're Clemal. So you kind of feel like you don't want this to get worse and maybe need to fight, but mm -hmm. it, those he villagers to, are he stuck. He has to fight here. Yeah. He has to fight here. If I think Deeker you have to pull Vills too. Yeah. Pull villagers because if you fight without any other assistance, I think you end up losing the fight and losing the first game. Deeker's not using his spears, though. He's still got him just on that house. That house is going to be really weak soon. The villagers are going to pop out. I think you pull the spears away now, Deeker. Take him off the house and take the fight. A tower. Don't tell me this tower actually goes up. Oh, no, villagers, they're repairing doesn't. the house so they can get back in. And whoop, there we go. Dude, how's this he still alive right now? Happens. This is what happens when you don't make a barracks. <laughs> this is what this happens. This is the weakness of the Khmer. Players, they, they yeah. utilize this, right? We know it. The players know it. And Clement thought he could have a, a better advantage going into this stage, but wasn't able to make it happen. And Deeker, 13 to 7 KD. He's played pretty nice at home. He's going to kill all these villagers now. And this should result in being a win for Deeker. We'll see if he can well close played, it out Deaker. from here, but... Yeah, really sick play from him. He he realized that so quickly. Yep. That like he was on that wood line. He had spears. 
And the scouts, you were right. As soon as the scouts went north, the other side of the wood line, he's like, okay. And that tower was just sick. It was the positioning on that is amazing. Yep. I don't think this one is necessary. <laughs> yeah. I And the GG's just called Clement's like, I can't deal with that. But Dave, look at the scout numbers. It was 13 for Clement. It was nine for Deeker. But like you said, you know, the spearmen being there meant that the straight up scout army couldn't engage. Yep. I think the way that changes is if the tower spotted. And Clement just prior to the tower going up was looking, but... Mm -hmm. When Deeker arrived with his army and had presence there, Clement had pulled away. Because I think if you get the counter tower up, it's still a bit of an issue, but you know, you, you don't lose all those vills. You might shoot the tower down. You could maybe move out with your scouts instead of having to stay at home. Maybe with Kamuri, you just don't go to the wood lines on the bottom. Maybe you take the wood lines at the top. Initially. And then once yeah. you Yeah, and then once you're fine and you have the scout numbers and you got an and you got enough walls and stuff to protect your base from the spears you yep. go up to castle age and then you move out or make an outpost right that feels like the simpler suggestion just make an outpost because if you've six bills there you you win the tower war there still awkward but anyways yeah. i think deeker just played that so perfectly he was so patient right uh he didn't run forward with villagers when it wasn't an opportune time but he also didn't wait long, uh, too long right before clement got upgrades or whatever else in the scouts well, All right. I guess if we're looking at the civs, Italians were or Portuguese could have gone for it, but Italians is interesting. Really nice nomad civ, actually. And uh, it's going to be Malians for Deeker. Not as good as Malians, <laughs> but pretty good mm -hmm. regardless. Could you argue that Italians are better on nomad than Malians now that um like the the nomad change came in? Or I, I guess Malians so. are pretty much yeah, Malians they're close are still to the, the same best. as they were. Yeah, Malians are still one of the best. Okay, that the dock problem here for though. Clement is this this opening is going to be terrible. Where's his bill going? Oh God, it's going to be awful. Like, like, dude, no, you can't send this bill. <laughs> it was in the middle of the map. This can't be your dock fill. At least he's going to find the dock from, from Deeker. Blue. Yeah, so it can be landlocked, and he's finding out now. And he also Bro. sees Deeker's dock. Now, Deeker doesn't know he's there. Now, this really delays the start for Clamont. You want to have that dock going up. And I guess his bill, if you look where it started, this can this can it still be this can still be okay for him. I mean, you always go to the corner on this. If one side is going to be landlocked, easy solution to avoid the landlocked side. You just go to the corner. Go to the corner because you're going to find one. Of only them. Yep. one of three is yep. going to be landlocked. But, but he was. I, I gotta. I gotta rewind because I gotta see where this villager started. Yeah, go for yeah, it. That, it. I. I don't think that's the guy you send to dock. He's so close to your other vills. I think you gotta send one of those to a closer corner. So but, I mean, it's easy to say, right? Here's where it gets interesting, right? Like Deeker's gonna eventually fish here, and he's gonna overfish and have to move. Yeah, and, and he can only go one dock. way, and he's gonna go directly yeah. into Kamal. So we are gonna see one of, if not both, these players lose fish. Uh, whoever has the cleaner start and the most food income, we're talking board timings, whatever, uh, is the favorite then to kill the other's fishing ships, which could be a big deal here. So I'm looking at the TC spots. I, I Honestly, I like the TC spots from both. They are pretty far away from each other. But the fact that they're far away from each other and the fish is close means that if Look they both the know it, difference. it should probably be all about killing fish. Clement has multiple goats. And the scouting difference is massive. Whoa, yeah, that's crazy. Absolutely massive. And Clement is going to, like, Deeker can see one more board near his dock so far. Clement is going to, well, he sees one, and he's on the verge of seeing a bunch more. Two already? Yeah, he's set, dude. Three? Yeah, he's going to have a really good uptime if he plays this correctly. Uh, do you, could you just, since you know the fishing ships, you, you kind of know where the fishing ships are going to be long term, could you still fast castle if you're Clamal, or do you have to go feudal? That's what I'd be thinking. Like, I know really Eli, cool who's in my here. chat right now. You know, we're pumping up Eli, who's playing later on today. A uh, reminder for those that don't know, Eli used to play community games back in the day, beat Ming, a 2K5 rated player last week, and is on a roll here in TTL. But he said um, he prefers Italians here, and what he did against Ming was he went for FC. But obviously, highly situational stuff, right? This is the unique situation we have here. I don't know what's best. I mean, with this scouting, you can basically do whatever you want. 
Yeah, you it's know, crazy. you know your allies not or your allies. Sorry, <laughs> you know the enemy's not close on land. So I think that much would tell you to go fast castle. I mean, if he finds his TC, <laughs> he could even think of like FC Castle dropping nearby or something yeah. like that. I mean, the TC from Deeker is up on a hill, but Deeker, we look at where the golds and the stones are from him, not so good. And Deeker's going to discover the Dock Villager now mm -hmm. from Clement. Clement needs to wall, wall that, that in. Bill. He's getting Loom now, though, so might okay, be okay. Okay, what's the pathing going to be on this Ville? If that Ooh. Villager goes back past the house, there should be a gate here from Clement. Yep. Oh, he's he. the boar isn't chasing. Okay, boar's chasing. He's going to go all the way around, right? Oh, that's Surely smart. he that's has smart. to. But he's got a house trick this one a couple times, I think, because that Villager doesn't have Loom, so there it is. Yeah, it is what it is. Oh. Ooh. Oh. 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 Come on, come on. Come on, dude. Oh. He's going to oh. see it too late. He's going to oh. see it too late. Oh, 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 No. Uh, huh? The uh. boar's not going to hurt you, bro. You got loom. Come on, man. <laughs> I think Flamel was more worried about losing his villager there than anything, but that was like a Alcatraz scenario trick there from Deeker. Little palisade, and he gets the job done as he brings in his boar. Is that his second boar, though, Dave? I think that's boar number two. One. Only the second one, yep. He yeah. doesn't see any of the others. And, he... well, Clement's going to find his goat now, too. So yeah. Clement has, like, five goats in reserve. He's got Omega scouting. Mm -hmm. And we look at his food count. It's looking really nice. And, of course, his, his fishing ships are, are cheaper yep. with Italian. So it was a bit easier for him to get those out. He's going to go up faster than Deeker. And he's going to just take out all of his fish for free. Well, we do have Deeker up oh, as no, well. Oh, no, he's not. Yeah. He's not. Deeker's going up. Wow. Not sure how I feel about the five fishing ships. But you are Italian, so it's cheaper. Oh, this is going to be uh, so awkward. Clement could lame his gold hard. But Deeker's gonna go all the way around. Deeker's gold is not good. Mm -hmm. His gold and stone setups. Well, his his scouting hasn't been good. He hasn't seen near as much. But if he kills this villager, no loom, no loom. Oh, Deeker. true. Come on. So, so Deeker can't even fight. fight it. He sees it. Okay, dude. This I, I'd hate to be a captain of one of these fishing ships right now. <laughs> like these poor guys are so cramped. The initial fishing ships for Deeker have now run out of food, and they have to travel all the way down. There is so much laming potential for Clement here and he's just not participating in any of it. <laughs> he's just not interested. And now he's getting his loomed villager walled in by a non loom villa, but whatever. He just wants the dock up and he's going to have two docks versus one because Deeker will take time to place this one. Okay. Just weird opening. I think something that's really important to remind people of Clement has a lot more resources underneath his TC. He's got tons of goats. Mm-hmm. And his gold is nearby. Yeah, his gold's next to his TC. His woodline is nice to the, nice and flush to the TC. Deeker as well, I guess. As Deeker gets to Feudal Age, he's going to go for two fires right away. Yep. Makes sense to me. But it, he might be housed here. That goat that Deeker just found could be so helpful with scouting. If he finds that boar to the north of that villa, it could be really helpful. It is getting loom now. Another or... dock from uh, Clement in the north. I like it. I, I think you can yes. flee with some of your fishing ships. Leave one or two to distract Deeker initially, and then flee with three or four of them. That'll take time to build, though. And so, again, we've just got big buildup, the big pressure on the water here. But I would not feel comfortable if I'm Deeker. I'm well behind at vision and scouting, and all the action's right next to my fish. Oh, that fire needs to come out soon. Otherwise, that villa's going to be dead. I think it's going to come out just on time. <gasps> oh, the fire oh, saves the villa. Are you kidding? It's blocking the damage. Sick. What? Deeker needs to come in there and snipe that villa. Okay, this is, this is demo territory, though. Like, <laughs> one of these demo docks needs to make a demo right now. There is a demo coming out of one of Deeker's docks. It's the, uh, it's the one in the corner. Well, he's not making anything else. There we go. Two more fires. I think Clement's going to try and use his dock to block some of the fire shots here in the south. But he's he's failing to to get it right. Mm -hmm. Villager's still alive. You can't, you can't use an enemy's dock to block the fire anyway. Oh, oh shoot. Yeah, right sorry. Right There's so top. many docks together. I'm just getting all confused here. Yeah. Villager's still in there, dude. He's still smushed in there. And, like, the fishing ships... He's about ships... to get demoed. <laughs> the fishing ships My boy are, is about are to quite get nice. blown up. 
Clement's fishing ships have actually been fishing, though. Deekers have just been blocking traffic. What great value here for Clement. And they, uh, there's the demo. That should kill the bill. Oh, my God. He dead. All right, but now you run with your fish if you're Clement, right? Like, yep. you're distracting all that navy. You run with your fish. You, you're home free. Get out of here. And then you, oh, my God, you save a demo in that dock. Deeker can't go any other way. Oh, that could be a juicy one. Just wait. You don't even use it on two. You use it on, use it on the fish. five it's ships. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Get it right in between all these fish or get it okay. on these. Oh, that's right. just, just the worst just way to it. use it. Just waste it. Well, he might. I guess he's going to oh. bring it back. He might repair a demo. Nope. No. Never mind. Well, well, that wasn't great. We know that his fishing economy is going to be more consistent than Deeker's. Mm -hmm. And he's still got Navy, which he's going to repair and, and build up in just, the north. Just unqueue five of the six villagers you have, okay? And don't make that demo or that fire galley, and you can probably go up to the next stage. He did cancel or that demo. Or make them anyway. Yeah. And unqueue the seven villagers you have in the queue. Well, he doesn't have his building. Does he have yet. a sec? Oh, he doesn't have a building. Yeah, he needs blacksmith. Yeah, he, he needs it. market. He's, he's still deceiving amount of way but if you look at what he's done he's been able to be on deer and sheep but actually resources collected it's very close right now Dave if you toggle to it so well done Deeker who's been a little bit more cramped in here just brought in a boar throughout all this but he's not chasing the fish at all in fact he did send one fire galley to the north mm -hmm. but he doesn't realize that there's so much water here just past all those fishing ships Deeker is now buying food. There's no there's no excuse for being slower to castle each year for Clemo. He should have prioritized those buildings faster, dude. Yeah, market. I, I don't know. I, I don't know what's going on. And he's he's building okay, at least he's building it with three villagers. But Deeker being up first is a travesty. Yeah, it does hurt. That should not happen. I'm cur still curious what the long term like what Deeker can actually afford. Because mm -hmm. after he finishes this boar, he's got four fishing ships which are inefficient. Obviously, he's going to make another dock. But, I mean, the opening is going to be ships, right? And there's going to be, like, upgrading those ships. There's eight fires for Deeker. There's going to be two demos. Whereas right now, we've got four fires and two demos for Clamal. So that 5-0 KD, which I feel like I, I did, couldn't realize because it was all mumbo-jumbo there. 5-0 KD for Deeker's paid off big time. But he could get shocked so here, Dave. It, it's all because of the faster feudal age time. Oh, Deeker, right? Deeker! This is bad for Deeker unless he comes out with the demo. But yeah, faster feudal age. And then also good job walling in that vill. So the vill couldn't play a role. Mm -hmm. And good micro there from Deeker as well to save there. And he's done a good job. He's done a he's nice job. He's actually done a good job. But two of those ships are one HP. Clement doesn't oh. realize it. Oh, they get back? That's, oh, that's no. rough. Oh, no. If you kill those two ships, I think things are pretty much fine. Yeah. He's going for another dock, so he's still contesting on water. Yeah, I, I, I still think this is going to be a transitional game, right? Water's going to matter a lot. You can't just give up water as Italians here. You can't just give up water when you think Deeker's going to have fish. But the space on land, dude. Clement's building up some house walls. He's on berries. He's still got a boar. What's the plan for Deeker here? Maybe a monastery could help to get some relics, get some vision with those monks. I honestly think he's like way over investing here into water. I think both of them probably are. It's just it, you can like once you get the war galley upgrade, a couple fires can just kill, kill the all fish the fish. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We'll see about a TC. It is cheaper. All the wood buildings are cheaper for Malians. War galley upgrade, Bosaw. Like the timings on that for Deeker. I think we will see a TC for him shortly. Now he's got a 45 second window where his ships are stronger. This is where all the fishing ships for Clement need to run. And he needs to save some ships inside of his docks and hope to not get hit by a demo. He is hiding along that shoreline. Deeker can't even see the docks, dude. <laughs> he doesn't he even knows, know. Though. He saw, he saw where they were fishing. He demos the fishing ships. And the goat. And he's looking oh! to demo this, and that's a real good demo right there. Oh, perfect timing. It was, it was seven oh, seconds baby. away from the war galley upgrade for Clement. No. But his own demo? Boom. Double. That's not bad. That's not too bad, but it does look like Deeker is officially going to win water. Uh, not, not officially going to win water, but he's got an edge on water. There's no fishing ships for Clement. 
Just the timing. Oh, nice little area to sit for Clement near behind that dock. That was beautiful. This is the point where you send like two fire ships if you're Clem and you're losing. Send it to the edge of the map and try and hide them and then come back later when you know your opponent's adding in fish, right? Mm -hmm. Neither player adding that second TC, man. They're both just piling on pressure on water. I like the fact that Clem is going to stone, though. Because a, a castle, if you're distracting your opponent on water and you find yourself with enough stone for a castle, you put yep. it forward, it can change the entire game. And I know Malians can go for other things, too, but Genoese crossbowmen in a pinch can always be really helpful. Going for a second TC. Still nine villagers in the queue. Wild. Yep. And Lot. knights now being produced from Deeker. I'd like to see a scout as well from Deeker, because knights have far less vision. He doesn't really know where he's headed out there. Water still matters. You look away for a second, you could lose everything to a demo. I don't I don't I, I don't care though. What water doesn't the water is not worth this investment. It just isn't. <laughs> it's just too much from both. It just doesn't make sense. <laughs> Do you have anything more to say about how much they're committing to water, Dave? It's just, it's like they've, it, it, it they're just, oh. <laughs> Okay, all right. Uh, your, your hesitation there and your confusion said it all. The knight from like, Deeker's gonna find like... the main TC here and Clement's gonna drop a monastery. But his vills are safe, except for the berries and the stone on the left, his vills are safe. I agree though, I think, I think what Deke, what Clement needs to do, and maybe he's, he has to do it now because he's that far behind on water, is you got to use those fires, loop them, and just try and find fishing kills and leave it at that. Mm -hmm. Call like, it a day. Deeker, Deeker hasn't even... Now, Clement still has five fires somewhere, but Deeker hasn't even added fish behind this. Yep. He hasn't even added fish. He's invested all of this stuff, and to be fair, he's cut his opponent's fish off, but he hasn't added any of his own. Um, does have the knights, and the knights are doing a lot of damage, and it forced... Clem all into a monastery. Also, Clem has multiple villagers on stone. Mm -hmm. But I think the like his timings got screwed up by the night attack here. Like he was definitely not planning on mining stone on the left. He would have wanted the third TC. He hasn't transitioned into farms too quickly here. Look at Deeker, dude. He has the fish. He's got farms around his starting TC. It, it was completely optimal. Second TC on wood and gold, which is what you want. Third TC is mm -hmm. on a stone. Fish boom. Dude's playing insane fish. right now. There's certainly fish. I don't know about the boom part. Okay, one more, one more ship coming in from him. One more fishing ship. Perfect. Here Third we go. TC from Clem now. He's trying to boom up. 49 villagers against 54. And there the extra fishes added in. I'd love to see Clem sneak these fires to the far corner, like far right corner. And I think, just kind of come back and, and take out all this stuff. I, I think Lamal's a little I think he's a little shook right now, honestly. He's distracted. First yeah, game, maybe. first game was so clean from Deeker. Because, you know, like they face each other on the ladder. You look at ladder rankings, they probably know of each other, but Clamal is the more accomplished player, at least in TTL as well. Um so he probably came in here thinking my opponent's gonna be a difficult opponent, but I'm gonna have the edge. And it's like everything he tries, Deeker seems to be faster to it. Faster to feudal in this game, better with the water micro, better with the repair micro. Field nets now, like th this is a really sick from Deeker. Yeah, yeah, but if you're if you're Clem and all you see are knights, right? You don't see any scouts or anything soon yep. or recently. Just keep adding monks and then move forward with the vills and go for a castle. The unfortunate part is that he has no vision on anything but the docks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> from true. Deeker, he doesn't even fully know where the TC is. But I think at this point, you know, something we both agree on and something that needed to be done here from Clement is use those ships. You can't just forget yeah. about them there. You invested into them. There is value to be found. But he's worried about so many different things right now. I think this might even be a 4TC boom territory, which is rare on Nomad. We might not see it from the player who has fishing ships too, but they're pretty far apart from each other. So he I feel like he could missed justify those it. Knights. He was half a tile. He missed the knights with the monks. Unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Light cab is coming in too. So that push I was talking about, once there's a couple light cab in the field, a little bit different, right? Might have to go for the defensive one first. And the way he set up those houses, probably telling me he's going for that defensive. Yeah, one right. First. <laughs> <laughs> I think Holy. in late game, I think I prefer the Italians slightly over the Malians. But if the Malians have the lead and they're able to open with champs, 
it could be really tough for the Italians he's to stop that. With his fires. He's coming with his fires finally. And he's skirted around the fire ships from Deeker. Deeker is just looking for docks. He doesn't realize he let the Navy get away. Yep. Deeker's going to kill a Ville with the Knights. Nice blocking two in the north. And now Clement's getting confident with his monks. He's like, okay, not seeing a whole lot. Let's move out with our monks. And Deeker's done the right thing here. And you don't need many light cap. I think you can even stop at four. Maybe you there make knights the, afterwards. There goes the fish boom from Deeker. And there's the light cap. And that's going to be Hello? three monks down. Yep, fish boom. And it's funny, Deeker didn't notice. Deeker looked at his fish. He didn't notice that the monks were there. And oh god, come on. This is going to be a disaster. You just saw light gaff. Mm, Maybe he I didn't see is, it. I think this is deletable. As soon as you see that, you're like, nope. Abort. Nope. nope. Abort. Back Abort. away. Quick wall the gate in front of the monks. Something. Huh? Dude, I, he's what? building it. Oh, jeez. Oh, the light gaff block. It, go back. <laughs> just go back. None of this ever happened. Ever, it never happened. Oh man, and such a shame too. Because had he, you know, made the correct decision there, which of course yep. we don't know exactly what he saw. I think backing up to place the castle would have been realistic for him. We've got big commitment from Deeker. The light cav are more than worth it now. He's got plus two armor coming in. He's still got some knights. This castle could still be denied. This is still a problem here. Uh, good quick wall from Clem over in the south, and another one in the top here. Villagers are falling, though. 78 villagers for him, 92 for Deeker. So they were even before that. Yep. And now you think, well, I definitely need to make Genoese crossbowmen. Oh, there's still a hole there. There's still a hole there, dude. Oh, there it's falling apart. There is still a hole oh, there. God. There is still a hole. Well, I mean, the castle is going to go up because one of those fills is fully walled in. But disastrous for Clement here. This is this is making it, taking it from bad to worse for him. And it also telegraph it forces him into a unit that the Malians can counter an imp. So if I'm Deeker, run around with these knights, which I'm sure he will, and then you you just aim to open with uh, some champions, possibly with some trebs. And he gets the castle further forward too. Yep. which buys him a little bit more time. Yep, he takes the oh hill. Boy, wow, that was amazing timing there. And it's crazy how quickly games can turn on its head, right? But I think. When you're the player that doesn't have water control, when you're the player that's been forced to be defensive, it's so much harder to make the right decisions. And Deeker has made him pay here as he kills a couple more vills. But, like, what are you going to do against this army? You garrison in your TC. That's it. There's full armor, though, so the TC doesn't do that much. Dang, dude. Deeker is playing incredible right now. Mm -hmm. And his target really, really is going to be Trebs with his castle, I'm sure. Like have Four still. villagers gonna die yeah. here too. I mean, these are just such an annoying unit to deal with, right? You're getting ballistics now, so you can catch up to these cavalry mm -hmm. that's flying around your base. That's it. I'm a little surprised we're seeing regular galleys here from Deeker. <laughs> I don't know about that. I think he's trying to range the the farms and whatnot in some different areas of Clement's that's, economy. That's not bad. That's really good, actually. If you, your opponent doesn't have a dock at all, mm -hmm. just putting them in the back. Like you've already denied the farms there. Just give him a headache, right? And it's not very expensive to go for a war galley. The only issue is that those two weak fires are picking off all of his galleys right now. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> obviously a, a problem. But he's sure. gonna he's gonna deal with that. And wow, very aggressive castle against the house wall from Clement. A Deeker just really looking to pile on pressure. But does he have a university? I feel like you need to get chemistry first thing. Just make sure you can make uh, Bombard Cannons as well as Trebs. He's adding the Siege Workshop, so surely he's going to have a university somewhere. And yeah, he had it at home. Clement is up faster. He's lost 32 Eco this game, which is just horrible. We call it Clemistry. Cle Clemistry. And then... Mm -hmm. God, I can't think of a tech that starts with a D right now. Except Detonits. Deeker, Deeker Nuts? <laughs> Detonits. <laughs> Deeker Nuts? Deeker Nuts? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I don't want that. No, Whatever we don't. Snack that is. We we do not I'm want out. that. <laughs> I'm out, dude. So we'll be double castle tread production from Deeker, but he's going double castle. It, he's going in different spots, which can sometimes be really awkward. Yeah. And the treb is out for Clement first. I think these uh, these Genoese Expo having ballistics too is going to be a nightmare. Yeah. In the back. Yeah. Like a real nightmare. Like I think the aggression, honestly, might be a problem 
for Deeker. Maybe got a little bit too aggressive there. He does see the Genoese, and he's probably like, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> yeah. Like, come on. This is this small force could accomplish so much. Thank God he's got handcart. Look at these villagers move. And they're just going to head somewhere else. No bracer for those things. I love this Not from Not as much Clement. range as he thought. Because he moved forward with the Genoese, his trebs are unprotected, but he's building gates there. Which is yeah, really smart. It's really good. Because Deeker is still committed to cap here. He's not going for champs. Well, Feel the light cap are coming in. How well can the Genoese do against them? They're targeting villagers right now. Clem isn't noticing. There we go. Turns around. Oh, the deer, deer griefing him. The deer. I feel like the light cap eventually killed this, right? Yeah, you just have nice numbers. Game. That's good play from yeah. Deeker, and now he doesn't have to worry about that as much. Plus three or plus four armor came in before ballistics too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and no bracer. Ooh, bomber cannons are out here for Deeker. Dude, Deeker knows don't his stuff. don't have any for Clem. He attack rounded between the trebs to damage both at the same time, which is great. But Clement switched his treb targets to the bomber cannon. I hope he doesn't hit the goat here. He's going to hit the bomber <laughs> cannon. Oh, <laughs> Wait. that was so close, oh. dude. Get him. The light cap are going to block. They're going to grief it a little bit. Oh, it's so close. All right. Oh, my God. Left side, Dave. We've got a Bombard Cannon from Clement. He still is going to have the house wall after he takes out that castle. So Not, the... not when that Treb works on that tree. Oh, why'd he pack it up again? Unpack it. Kill the tree. Let the light cap in. Again, Trebs versus Bombard Cannon. Right side. Clement needs to keep his Trebs up. Treb always wins. Treb if always it's wins three, too. he's got a good shot. And up, up, switch targets. And Deeker noticed. Trebs always win. Watch. Trebs always win. Not this shot, but the next shot. Well, yeah, I mean, eventually it's going to get a hit. That does I mean, that mean it's that a win? Shot, the, I, I the don't next... know if you can consider that a win. Lots of repairing now for Deeker, who's actually out of stone. And before he had 18 on stone, but he's through on the left, Dave. He took out the house. The light cab are going to own there. And the GG's called. Yeah. Deeker is up 2-0. What a sick job from him in this game. Yeah. He transitioned... And he just had all the timing slightly faster. He had the town center timings faster. Uh, he had the ships out faster. Remember the initial 5-0 KD for him, which was uh, some economic kills mixed with the Navy. And then the knowledge to know that Light Cav were needed in yep. combination, I think, with Clement probably unwisely just walking out across the map with three monks I like think, that. Like, uh, every stage of the game there, the positioning for Clem was better. And Deeker just, like, it felt like he out-experienced him or something. Mm -hmm. Like, yep. I guess Clem it did take a long time for his doc to go up. But it didn't end up mattering, right? He had better scouting. He had his op opponent tra uh, trapped in there. And he was just a little bit too late with his mining camp, mm -hmm. his second Dark Age building, to go up, even though he had the res to go up. And then he was late to, later to the Castle Age, which he never should have been. And then he was late to uh, placing the castle and getting his forces up. That's why he went forward with it and got completely denied. It was like Deeker was just one step ahead every single time. And it's just, but it's just one of those games where like the only thing I comes to mind that I could possibly question with Deeker was that moment where he had those, he was allowing two fire ships to kill his freaking war galleys. And when they went to the north, that's the only thing mm. Like he's really played clean here. And at this point, like, it's it's not looking good for Clement because I had mentioned in the draft that Deeker had the best civilizations, at least in my mind, for the closed maps. And we haven't even seen the closed maps played yet. I so. can't believe that was Clem's home map. He did not look like a, a nomad player to me. Maybe it was more of like, a, you know, I don't think my opponent's very good at nomad type of pick. Yeah, yeah, it could be that. I mean, he didn't or look elite nerfed, at nomad. I and I don't know if it was his main... Remember, you always have two. So, like, he has yep. Nomad, and then he has Regicide Fortress, and Regicide Fortress was his number one pick. We'll see if the reverse sweep is possible here for Clement. Uh He's playing as the Gurjaras. Very common pick here. Gurjaras and Berbers, Tatars, any civilization that can go scouts into decent stable units has been preferred. But I think this is the first time I've seen Burgundians, Dave. Normally, Burgundians are on maps with a lot more wood that you can yep. wall up between. So, I think Deeker's definitely... Going out on the limb with this one uh, and had to pick off meta based on how the draft played out I for mean, him. these bases are always walled. Yeah. Like, at the end of the day, they are always walled because yep. you have that whole edge of the map 
that you don't have the wall, right? Yep. You're up against the edge there. Um, Clement has gone for the first mill on the shorefish, which like is good, and he's going to garrison all of his hurtables in there as well, pushing deer in, and his wood line, well, he's got it close to the TC forward, but the next best one is way back there where he's going. The wood situation for him is uh, a little spotty, for sure. It's just, it's so funny, though, because the wood lines are always so garbage on this map, and then they're everyone's full walled. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think it's just that extra 30 seconds of time everyone has uh, due to the players being up against the edge of the map every time. But yeah, I guess there's definitely more wood here for Deeker. Keep in mind, though, guys, that the trees do have 150 wood. So that is definitely something you feel as a player. Uh, in the long run, you're going to find more golds and stone towards the corners. So that's an area to to definitely look for and expand to, but... The goal is typically to control the hill. There's a lot more wood up towards that hill, and then there's a stone and gold there. It's just so much easier to play this map if your second TC or third TC is up on that hill and you control it, because very rarely can that hill be shared. Mm -hmm. And you can't TC where the tiny steps are, where the elevation is at all. So it's either you TC at the very bottom or in the corner or at the very top of that hill. And it, we saw a game earlier. Um, I didn't cast it. It was Syscon versus, um, versus Hope. And both players just sending Vils to the middle at one point. And one guy had the TC up in the army there a little bit faster. And then the other player was kind of screwed. But yeah, I guess I don't mind Burgundians. Maybe you go scouts still, but you, you mix in like pikes. Yeah, you just keep yourself alive, basically. Yeah. And play if you get the full wall Virginia's. down, which it's e apparently easy to do on this map, mm -hmm. you're going to have the eco advantage, right? Yep. Just try and get to Castle Age, I suppose. I mean, may who knows? Maybe he'll fish boom. We don't know. <laughs> like Samara. Well, Samara, yes. I don't think Samara tried to fish boom in his game versus Cloud. I was a little disappointed. He, do he does have a fantastic gold, Deeker, up against the edge there. The very back. Yeah, I guess in return, his berries are kind of garbage. Awful. Like that's, that's the difference, whereas the berries are great for Clement, but his gold is garbage. So You going to trap these vils in here, buddy? You're gonna trap him in here. You're gonna, or you're gonna put that mill right trap in him. the center. He's gonna trap him. Oh, he wants three trapped, actually. Ooh, he's a trapper. Is it just me, or is there an abnormal amount of butterflies around the? There oh. are a lot of butterflies there. Yeah, a lot. It's interesting how they come and go as well. I didn't know that was a thing. Well, I mean, the, the, I guess the fruit is ripe. <laughs> <laughs> Might not be as ripe after Deeker's done with it. Three villagers <laughs> walled in there. Anytime I try this, I feel so good about myself, and then I always overforage one of those bushes at some point, and then mm -hmm. I'm screwed. Or, or, like, let's say you want to wall that area or build your barracks now. You have to bring another vill to do it. But he's going to go small-ish walls uh, in towards his TC, and he should expect that the Gajars are going to be up faster. Very common on this map for players not really to even scout one another up until now. But I like the build from Clamal. He's up at 18 pop, and he didn't even take his berries yet. That's sick. Busy looking for, like, pictures in the ponds. Pictures in the ponds. I see a smiley, like, a happy face in the north there. Right near Deeker's scout. See to the right of that? Yeah, Two it's like a... The, yeah. yeah. The other one's like a deformed... Like a happy, happy rooster? Face. I don't know. Yeah. Um, This might be a pickle with eyes. You're going to have to be more specific. Or something else. Never mind. I've got... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's good. We won't look back there. Well, I'm also noticing uh, the golds that are in the corners are really far in the corner. So it might make mm -hmm. it really difficult for players to find that if they have to relocate. But Barracks should be coming up here for Deeker. He did have the wood upgrade research already, or he does. And Clement's going to find him and be really annoying with this camel, I'm sure. But, yeah, I mean, you, you don't really want to use your camel there. If you're Clamont, he backs away. He sees the barracks just now going up. And he's already adding his stable. So let's see. Maybe uh, the beginning of the turnarounds here for Clamont, who is pulling goats out of his mill now, which seems to be the meta mm -hmm. these days. You put them in the mill, and then when you're finished with the berries and whatever else, you start to pull a couple out of the mill. It and feels really the optimal smooth. number? I think it's like six or something to have in there. Like, you can, you can afford to take two. Yeah. I, I honestly, um, the Gurjaras was my main on this, and I would always take like four or five out. 
And at that point, it just feels like it gives you such a nice boost. How do you think those goats feel, though? They're nice and warm and comfortable, and their friends keep getting taken <laughs> away, and then they know, never come like, back. Where'd George go? <laughs> and you're just like, every day you're there, you're like, hey, man, come on. <laughs> come on over here. Well, they've been in there for so long, you know, they're probably getting bored of it. So they, they want a new challenge in life. 10% yeah, chance I die. Okay, let's do it, you know? That's how you justify it to yourself, I see. <laughs> Two spearmen now for Deeker. And he's just going to go spears because he knows his opponent's likely going to go scouts. And any other map, maybe I'm like, how does he know this? But it's freaking Kilimanjaro, dude. Everyone goes scouts. Mm -hmm. And so, if you're the Gajaras player and you're thinking about a counter to the spearmen, is it... Is there potential to go for a range here or no? Maybe. I think on Arabia, you you see that switch. Mm -hmm. But here, you, you think twice about it. Actually, Kamal wanted to come forward and tower this. That is a tower. But I think the Vils... No, the Vils are moving out. That's such yeah, a long they journey. Are. They are. And there's a stable up now from Deeker. He's going to have the Spearman. There's Spearman forward from Clamal, but... Oh, boy. It's three Spears versus one. There's a couple on the way. You're down two games, and your villagers are already halfway there. There's no backing out. You have to do it now. I guess the only thing you could do to back out is make a range in the middle and then, like, take gold there or something. But that just feels it's like, ridiculous. It's also kind of nice that there's going to be a stone right there. So you can tower, mm -hmm. take the stone, and then move over and tower the farms. Maybe, and your opponent's not going to have like enough that. scouts to kill your vills. Just don't, like, bring your scouts over to the other side. Maybe you want to pull the army back from him, but... I think he's trying to pull... Yeah, he's trying to bait Deeker to go attack him right now. And Deeker's sending the scouts forward, but he's sending the scouts right into their death. Now he doesn't have scout numbers to contest these vills. It'll still be awkward for Clement, but I think this tower could go up. Unless Deeker pulls his own Vils now. This gets real messy. Can you pull your Vils? Because what if Clement comes over with his scouts? I mean, he's got to be worried as well about the wall at the back going down, right? Yeah, so yeah, he's yeah. focused on that, making a house behind it. The tower will go up, which means the berries will be cut off. Mm -hmm. I'd love to see Clement wall that The tower. whole tower. Wall it up. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude, good kills here. Look how weak these spearmen are. Oh, man, that's so nice. 4 to 1 KD. Could be more here in a second. Including a villager if that villager doesn't run home. And, and good patience the other from Spearman numbers with his scouts. Yeah, really nice. And he goes to the stone too. So, I mean, Deeker is going to be knowing that there's another castle. Or not castle, tower. Mm -hmm. uh, on the way shortly. I, I mean, I know the closed maps are still to come. Which could be a problem for Clamal. But if he smashes Deeker here... You know, could be the momentum he needs. And Two the, scouts forward from Deeker. That's, that's not, not. And one is one is one Spearman hit away from death as well. He doesn't even fully know where the opponent is or what the opponent's up to. Bro, I, I'd like to see another a tower. villager forward and chop that tree. Uh, No, no, <laughs> you don't run in there, dude. You don't <laughs> run in there. But what you do is you build a tower next to the stable so that the house can't be repaired anymore. And, and the then farms you just, are cut off. Yeah, and then you just go right back to the stone. Yep. Yeah. Let's see what he spots. He can see all of those farms. He also has spotted that a scout went forward from Deeker, and he's going to see another one. And then he saw the spearman leave as well. So he should know that he needs spears at home, and he is adding spears at home. Look at this wall, okay. though, from Yeah, Kamal. the walls are crazy. I love it. Yeah, it's going to be big. He, he just needs to defend at home, and he's doing so. Spearman gets some nice hits. I'm shocked we're he's... still not seeing a tower here on the front. Do you think he's looking at his stone count and thinking, man, if I get up to Castle Age, I can drop a castle. Eventually. I mean, we thought it'd be pikes, right? Like pikes and boom. So yeah, he might be thinking about a castle because the Chakram is a really good unit against pikes. But I still think a tower there to deny the farms or force a tower or something makes sense. I think but... he's getting greedy. But he's looking at all the quick walls and his economy, and so he's looking at six or seven different things. Yeah, this this definitely okay. is some level of greed, though, to not make another tower here. And not yeah, wall up like, the initial tower is wild to me. A tower would put Deeker in such an awkward position. Such an awkward position. And he'd probably be forced to go to a, for a defensive tower of his own. Mm-hmm. Which then means he can't TC because you know where the gold position or the stone position is from yeah, him. Yeah, true. Uh, unless he buys more stone. And you can always follow it up with another tower. But think about this. Clement went forward. It's been all him thus far. 
he somehow then not only full walled his base, but omega walled his base. Like mm -hmm. his base gives him access to so much extra wood, stone, and gold, and his opponent hasn't been able to counter. And his opponent hasn't been able to counter and get damage done while Klamal has been on the front most of the time. That's impressive. Uh oh, scouts being taken out by a spearman, and Castle Age is in first for Deeker with wheel. Oh god. <laughs> I'm so worried about now, this. Clement He's uh, going to click up, and then he's probably going to try for a forward castle there with five bills. He's going to have to sneak out additional bills. You can't just go you, for that with five bills. Okay, what do you think about this? You pull those bills when you're close to castle age, and you just go TC the hill at the top. You just back up, and then you just save the stone for a castle that's safe up on that hill once you have more army. Or do you... Because you can't YOLO a castle with five bills, right? That's too much. Too risky. <laughs> That'd be ridiculous. Uh, I mean, that sounds safe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, safe. But maybe he doesn't want safe. Maybe he's really, you know, he wants that statement victory right now. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's I certainly don't think a this man is interested in being safe. Other than the giant wall at his base. But, you know, <laughs> other than that. Other than that, yep. I mean, he sees spears. He knows his opponent's going to go pikes. That villager, that's a fifth of your castle building economy right there, dude. But she's going to survive. And she's alive. And she's alive. And no one's ever denied a castle being built with five villagers and two of them weak. No one's ever done that. <laughs> There's no uh, precedent. Okay, but he's going to, this is what's going to save him. He's going to see that Deeker is up to castle age first, which means he'll know a knight's coming out, which means he knows he needs to run with those bills. 100%. Debatable. He's bringing two more bills. <laughs> Only two? Three. Only three. 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 Okay. Three. Eight's the magic There's number. Three. Okay. And he goes where with it? Come there? on, dude. You're going there? Uh, Your quick walls better be on point, bro, because that one isn't. Okay. Thankfully, he still has the stone for the castle after deleting that. Oh, my God. You've controlled the and game so a... well. Just... Oh, man. I mean, the tower's helping, but Pikeman's in, dude. And those villagers are all dead now. Build the castle elsewhere, Clamal. I think this man is, is broken right now, mentally, after the first two games. There's no way. It, like, there, you see nothing here that should tell you that you should stick around and commit more villagers to this. Right? Am I crazy? Okay, castle on the hill. I am crazy, but I'm asking more about the situation than anything. Yep. I'm sorry. My eyes have just kind of glazed over as I'm watching. <laughs> same. The like, same. <laughs> it's like, dude, this is so predictable. But, I mean, Hibville still haven't died. Yeah. The, the tower's weakening up. the pikes. The castle's on the way up. He's bringing more vills. So, I mean, the castle will probably complete. But it... The villagers, I mean, they're not going to die, right? Maybe not. Uh... No, nope. They're going to survive for another day. Maybe surely no. this castle doesn't get denied. Surely moon his walking quick walls camel. Are moon walking camel. I did see that. That's just the confidence that Clamal has in himself right now. To press the moon wall cocky in that moment. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Castle will go up, Dave, just as we all expected. <laughs> but Clamal certainly has not made it easy on himself here. Look at no, that two not. HP Vill still running around. Though. She's dead. I looked at her and she died. Okay. But he's got the hill nope. on Kilimanjaro. He's got the hill. On Hilimanjaro. He's got the hill. Yep, he's got the hill. And while it will take some time to mass the chakrams, the castle fire and then the chakrams will make it very difficult for the pikes to possibly mm -hmm. push. Mm -hmm. Deeker's second TC now on wood and a stone. So he'll be thinking about the castle eventually as well. Go on. It, it becomes difficult now for Deeker to know what to do with your units. Pikeman is not an offensive unit. And then even if it was an offensive unit, how are you going to get into your opponent's base? And you've got to loop your units around that middle area now, too, which is so rough. So now it is chakrams. Yep. Chakrams can be decent, but you need a lot of them. And they're not so good against units like knights until yep. you get a lot of them. You know what hurts so bad? Is the fact that Clement doesn't have a market right now. If he had a market, he could balance out his whole eco. But he built up towards two stables. Yeah. And so he's he's got so much gold. He probably wants to buy 100 stone, buy 200 wood so he can go with two TCs and everything. But then it's like, oh, no, my farms are refreshing. Oh, I can get by without a market. And you oh, just my keep man, convincing my man yourself. Turned off, 
He just turned off auto farm. <laughs> I think one of the farms seeded, and I looked at the mill. It's it's turned off. He it's needs gone. a market because he needs to get to yeah. he needs to get to the the stone as well for that TC. Yep. Oh, uh, it's so rough. But I, I I say this because I experience this you know one every five games. I convinced myself I could macro without a market, and then a messy game happens, and here we are. But market look at it this, up, dude. Twelve hundred gold. May I mean he could even think about. I Here's don't know what Imperial Age would give you, but he could think about it. I mean, come on, mopped up the pikemen. If there's knights, you you still have camels that do additional bonus damage. Now, Deeker's going to have some monks out here. And if he were to convert those monks, that'd be really nice for him. And he might get double, actually, depending on what direction the camels go. And, you no, know, Faith is just not on his side there. He's think... going to get one of these. Yeah, he's going to get two of these. Yeah, a little wasteful there. The good news is chakrams do very little damage to each other, so... I mean, if you're giving your opponent two chakrams, that's not going to do anything. That's not that big a deal. And then the monks can't convert again, so it's actually kind of worth it. And then they don't know how to control the discs because they're Burgundians, so it works out. Okay. So ca another castle is going to come up eventually here. We've seen food be purchased for Clamal. He's still going at it here with the chakrams and the camels. He transferred those vills on top of the hill over to stone. There's a lot Eager, of weak though. chakrams. 350 stone himself. And, and, and a third he is TC. going for a third TC, yep. Okay, but I guess it has to be a defensive castle at home. If you're Deeker, you can't build a castle on top of that hill. He might. Well, he might. If he gets more conversions, the chakrams have definitely I don't know. looked a little I, underwhelming. Like, on that hill, though, it would have to be north side. It could be south, but south doesn't... I mean, neither castle really controls anything. Clamont's okay. got the perfect position. Hear me out, though. If he brings all those vills underneath that TC... Uh, oh, my God, what's wrong with me? Underneath that TC with pikes and monks and, and drops the castle on the stone at Clamont's base. If you look at his scouting, that feels like that could be a natural way to go. Hmm. And just give up the middle. But then if you give up the middle, you might be castled at your own base. So. Camel raid. Everyone's favorite type of raid on the right side. That will accomplish very little. But Kamal still has the camels out there. And he's got Climbs 14 shots. Eco himself. balance is still way off. Like, he's got 10 on wood. He just put those on wood. Yep. He had one on wood for the longest time, right? Which is, it's just so hard to expand your farm eco and whatnot. When you have no wood whatsoever, and we look at the eco from Deeker, 68 vils, he's 10 vils ahead. Better upgrades as well. Cavalier coming in now. He it just seems comfortable. Yeah, he's booming comfortably under pressure, but now we get to see where he's going to decide on that castle. He's getting Cavalier now, which the Burgundians can do in Castle Age. He's making more pikes. He hasn't placed the castle yet, which tells me he thinks he can take this fight soon. Well, that's a lot of chakrams, though, dude. That is a lot of chakrams, and the monks might need to get away from here. Oh, oh but knights the knights are, are on top though. of the chakrams. Knights are inside, and the camels are out of position, and that's a bunch of chakrams uh, going down, and they're in front of the camels. And look at the chakram numbers now. He's down to eight. Yikes. Seven. Yeah, the choke point is something that Clement probably thought was good for him there, but his camels were blocking the way. Ay, ay, ay. What a great job from Deeker again to just stay consistent and with his economy. And I think before. Clement is like... You're stuck yeah, now. He's like, Cavalier. I have to make Camel Chakram. You're pretty much stuck with that with this unit. Mm -hmm. What more can I do? And that, that next thing in his mind is going to be a castle drop. Right? He's got the stone. Both players do. Yep. Make it messy, baby. Make it messy. Oh, scout we MVP. We need a castle to the right of that starting TC from Deeker. Just right up in there. This just in. Monks are a fantastic counter to Chakrams. Because you just can't or... kill monks with Chakrams. Yeah, you can't. Or you deny the castle from Deeker with your own castle if you scout it in time. And he's scouting the military coming over here. If Chakrams can get in that wood line, I think they can range those vills and, and take he him out. See and the it. outpost doesn't see it. Oh, no. That's that's a really good adjustment there from Deeker, too, because where he was going to castle does not have gold. Mm -hmm. And that's his big concern. And remember we mentioned the corners. It's hard to see the golds. He did find ones on the left. But in the very north there, if he doesn't outpost, he's not going to see that. Third TC now for Clement, who has control. 
He's looking for a castle spot, though, David. I'm still not sure where he puts it. If he sees the castle there from Deacare, I think he... Ooh, he castles on top of the hill. He just solidifies the position. But now it's like, okay, I got to get up to him. Yeah. And you look at your food eco, and you're like, Bleh. and you look at your gold eco, three <laughs> gold. I think you sell... And, yeah. What I would do, and I... I might, all this stone. would be bad, as I think you sell all the stone, and then you buy food, and you hope you win the imp race. But look what Deeker's already done. My man's already hit that market. Dude, so good. Deeker's playing really well. Yeah. Really well. Yeah, his decisions have been on point. He's He's been able to macro quite well. And I think Clement is... Clearly, you're just seeing Torny pressure getting to him right now, because things are not as clean. I bet if you check the APM, he might even be faster. Like, he's moving his army too much. It's about similar, but... Just hasn't been able to, to have the economy behind it. And now he's, like, half Castle Age, half Imp, buying food. You don't want to sell your stone, because that could be another castle, but... You might have to here. That mill at the front of Deeker's base has been aggressively on fire the entire <laughs> game. It's been, like, dis I've been so distracted by it. <laughs> The entire game. That was the area that we thought Kamal would maybe want to castle. Man, if he yeah. towered, this game would have been so different. Yep. If, just a couple towers on the front, I agree. Yeah. And you didn't need the castle yep. against Burgundians. Like, you didn't need it, but it's not greedy. It's not bad, you know, but the problem was the castle not going up in the timing and the fashion that he wanted it to meant that the rest mm -hmm. of his eco fell apart, right? He thought he could, he could focus on other things, but... He wasn't able to, and Deeker's going to have two castles right next to each other. He's going to have pikes, he's going to have Cav. And pikes and Cav can be countered by Camel and by uh, Chakram, but it also goes the other way around, depending on the upgrades and the timings. Yep, and here come the relics for Deeker, too. And he's also, I mean, building outposts all along the south. Yep. Which is amazing. They'll probably and, yeah, it's just, do so on the right it's side, just full too. Control. Still can't see that gold in the north. That gold in the north could be really helpful for him if he runs out elsewhere. That will be hidden forever, unless this villager paths around weirdly to try and find it. To, to get a tree or something. Yeah, that's going to be hidden forever. All right. Kamal, his heart is going to sink when he sees Imp for Deeker. He's going to be thinking, oh, no. And the reality is, if you lose this hill, you probably lose the game because I mean, you're just going to get steamrolled then. So you have to fight for this position. He could... Potentially, with this imp timing and being on the hill, he could take out the traps initially from mm -hmm. Deeker, especially with the Chakrams there. Yep. If they bunch up in the center and he distracts the fire. Still no fletching for those castles from Deeker, so that could matter. Mm -hmm. But Deeker is going to have bomber cannons as well. Yep. Time this chemistry. is just going to go from bad to worse. And look at this. He's like walling with his production buildings all into this one little area. And he's also positioned to treb over there, which might not be the smartest place to put it. Now, Kamal did get masonry, which is good heads-up play to have a bit more uh, strength against these trebs here. And he is going to be making trebs. But, as we said, right, chemistry is coming in faster for Deeker. And he's going to have bomber cannons on top of trebs. And it's four trebs immediately, no hesitation about it. And then a bomber cannon's already on the way. And you're going to have 12 chakrams, 9 camels, versus 13 pikes, 10 cavalier... Which honestly could be click to Paladin. I, I don't know if you need to. And then hand cannons as well from Deeker, which is perfect against Chakrams, because Chakrams are infantry. I mean, he's just got a much better eco, too. Yep. All the eco upgrades are in. And another Treb attacking the castle. I'm surprised that Clem hasn't gone and sniped that Treb in the north yet. Okay, sending his camels yeah. now. Yeah, I, I don't think Deeker noticed that one. I think it just kind of wandered over there. And yeah, he notices now. And so he pulls it away, but, I mean, Halb's going to be in, Dave. Even got Conscription. Like, in this type of a situation, Deeker recognized, actually, Conscription can get me further ahead. It's not a throw. I have enough trebs. You know, there is a lot more stone for Clem to repair it. Oh, true. Deeker's going to have to start buying stone, and he's selling wood now so he can buy some more. I mean, this this could shift here. Depending There's on how good these more chakrams army. are. From and, Deeker, and the Chakrams need to find big hits against the house. Yeah, and conversions too. All all yep. the monks need a conversion at the same time. The Chakrams are on the wrong, wrong side. They need to hit the house. Wrong side, dude. Wrong side. The camels are on the wrong side as well. The monks are getting conversions, though. And the castle is down from, from Deeker. 
Ooh. And the helms are getting mowed down. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. That's a lot of calves. Hang He's going to lose. Hang on a second. If he doesn't get the trebs, he'll lose all of his army for this, Dave. Oh, look, the army. No trebs down. No trebs down. The bomber cannons are working away. Clem is going to go after the bomber cannons with his <gasps> trebs. Does he get any of them? No. Oh, he doesn't get them. He was so close. Okay, well, he kills his own camel, it looks like, but he's still got trebs. There's more Kev on the way for Deeker, who probably can't believe his eyes. And just repair city for Clemal still in this castle. Hoping and, and praying his down, trebs though. can hit the cannons. Hand cannons are dying to the castle. Heavy camel is in. Trebs are repositioning. He's got a bomber cannon of his own. He's only got 400 stone left. This thing has sucked so much stone. <laughs> Dude, but if he can take this, if he can take the bomber cannons from Deeker, Deeker could he, be screwed. He got one. He got one. No he way. Got one. Look at Deeker's gold right now. He spent all of it trying to buy stone. And he He's doesn't have the other res. gold in the north. What a hold! Old Crazy. Longer. Do Cra it. Crazy. There's you cannot raid now. Like you can't think of it. Too much is happening. You're gonna lose everything at your base if you try. Deeker, bomber one cannon bomber cannon. Away. There's a bomber cannon in out. there for Clement as well. We need to take that cannon out. Uh, the castle's going to go down. Like, the castle's going to die. He has no stone. Yeah. But actually, it won't go down because the Trebs are focusing on the Bombard Cannons. Got one. You do not want to have Halbs underneath Castle Fire, ideally. Castle now goes down for Deeker. He's housed, Dave. He's housed. Oh, boy. Whoa. Oh, no. What a swing. Heavy Camo and Chakram's kind of doing it right now. Yep. But you, you just need to use your own traps against the siege from Deeker. We've got a score flip. Deeker's probably thinking, what else can I try here? What else can I do? He's scrambling. He's building houses everywhere. He's still housed. And he, there's a camel raiding his gold on the right side, too. So Clem has discovered that. Oh, yeah. Another treb is going to go down shortly here, I think, if he you, hits you need... a shot. There's a concern, though, that Deeker will have time to stabilize because Clemal cannot engage against hand cannon and help. And Deeker has three bombard cannons. And once it's three, you're not going to get... Well, you shouldn't get lucky anymore. You're going to lose your stuff. Oh, God. Oh, oh what God. What are you talking about? What are you talking about not getting lucky? Well, you got a couple. Deeker's going to try and again. again. son. Trebs. Both Trebs will go down. Attack round in, in the middle. One goes down. Next one. Deeker's still in this. Gets the next one. Uh-oh. I mean, a whole bunch of stuff just went down underneath the castle from Clemal, but Clemal doesn't have the army. And Deeker's not finished. He's got more health production, more hand cannon production. He's sitting right next to this freaking castle because there's no fletching or anything. Yep. And as quickly as Deeker's castle went down after that swing, we might see Clement's castle go down. Hey, man. He, he still hasn't given it up, though. He still hasn't given it up. He what still a, hasn't given it up. What an amazing hold, though, from Clement. And what an amazing turnaround here from Deeker as well. Yeah. He thought Deeker was going to win originally. Castle's going to die. Nope, Castle's... not yet. Now it is. Now it is. Bye-bye. And it's just and the pump of Halb hand cannon. Like, I think what you would need is you would need skirms, actually, if you're Clemon. He's adding his own hand cannons, but Burgundian hand cannons do a bit more damage, right? So that's going to be an issue here. Honestly, Chakrams are really good against hand cannons if you get elite a bunch and of if them. you get enough of them. Yep. But it's Paladin casually coming in for Deekert. Wild. So he is going to push just this wild. back. Look on the left real quick. Times for him, though. Look at how much the outposts have paid off for him. All that extra yeah. stone and gold that he's been able to take. Not to mention the relics, of course, right? Man, still hasn't found the one in the north. Yeah. Ooh. I don't think he'll ever find the one in the north. <laughs> oh, hand cannons being hit by the bomber cannons now. Oh, boy. Army difference is, is 40 now. And Deeker's going to mix in Paladin because he knows his opponent will go Skirms or hand cannons or Chakrams. Either one, Paladin's going to be fantastic with. And with Burgundians, the stable upgrades are 50% off. Deeker's playing amazing, dude. Like, I, really, I, he really, really surpassed my expectations today. I thought he'd play well, and I know he's been playing amazing, but... I had Clem winning this for sure. Yeah. But he Deeker's just looked like the better player. Yeah, every game 100%. in a bunch of different settings as well, right? And it's, it's like a sieve that we don't see on this map. Burgundians. Mm -hmm. Yep. Big shot there. And Clemon's probably scratching his head right now, not being able to believe it, how good Deeker is. It, I mean, it, it's over. He knows it's over. Yep. All it takes is those Paladin to come into your base, and it's over. Yeah. Clem calls it. GG, good luck next. Wow. Deeker, wow. 3 nothing.
What? Against a player who, who had already steamed through silver and done pretty good in gold before getting relegated. Wow, well played, Deeker. So in this group, I don't know what letter group it is. It will be Stark versus Deeker. Argentina versus Brazil, best of five the next week. That After watching this series and after all the good things that we said about Stark earlier today, that mm -hmm. should be a banger. And uh, yeah, I mean, like Kamal's got to look at this and just be like, I got played out, outplayed every game. Every single game, Deeker was slightly better than me. This Completely game hurts. Outplayed. This game hurts, yeah. though, because I think Kamal will know that half the decisions he made with that tower or not making more towers was just because he was maybe tilted. Right? It's just greed. Yeah, just like, greed. Just drop a couple towers there and, you know, casually yeah. build up towards the castle. But the other games, it was all just Deeker punishing him, right? Deeker punished him with the tower in game number one, perfectly placed on the tower, perfect timing, perfect, perfect game sense. And then Nomad, the transitions were all super smooth. Um, 63k resources collected from Deeker in that game. Clement with 55. Or, uh, sorry, 53k resources collected as well. And can't say Deeker doesn't deserve it. Well played, Deeker. Oh, he does. Wow. He didn't even touch a map on his side. Yep. <laughs> of the draft. Yeah, and then he's... Had we seen more games, he would have had humans for Regicide Fortress... And Bengalis for fortified clearing, which are just top tier civilizations. So he has well planned for the other games as well.